Well, hello and welcome back, and thank you for coming back today. Well, we're in downtown Cato Papos, that's for sure, and we're about to enter our favourite area. But before we do, let's introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world, Ms. Ochin Graciela Booth. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again. Right, let's get into the Cato Papos Harbour area. Have a look at that. That's where we are. Look at that. And the first one along. The first great restaurant is called King's Cafe, but it's actually a full-on gourmet restaurant. The cafe area is to that side, and the restaurant area is to that side. As you can see, there's Makis. There we are. You're right. Hello, Having a good day. How are you? Yes, very good. And you? Nice, yeah. Thank you. And as you can see, they're absolutely packed out as usual. The next restaurant on our travels, well, the next one is Theo's, and there it is, another one that's absolutely packed yet. There it is. People, they come yesterday, they tell me you're the best, blah, 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 <laughs> and they come to this restaurant because you are perfect. Excellent. That is a superstar named Andreas, superstar, and he's an absolute yeah. guy. He superstar. is a superstar. There he is. And he's always in blue. Look at that. He's yes, always sorry. in blue. Yes. And he's actually got a similar hairstyle to me as well. He's a star. Thanks, Mr. Andres. There we are. That is the Balloon Mafia. Oh, look at that. We've got some new balloons. So, here we go. Into the most famous restaurant of all. Because this restaurant doesn't need any introduction at all. Because it's not a normal restaurant. It's actually owned by a superstar called Mr. George. who's sitting over there. And it's actually run by a pelican. Somewhere. There it is. Look at that, absolutely packed out. Let's go and say hello to Mr. George. You all right, Mr. George? How are you doing? You all right? How are you? Are yeah, you good, okay? good. Where's Coco? Inside. Ah, there she is. We'll just go and say hello. We'll just go and say hello. Come on, go see the other booth. Hi, you all right? Hello, Let's go and say hello, because there is Miss Coco. And Miss Coco is an absolute star. And they've locked her in, because she tends to go and the children. Miss Cokes, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, how are you doing? How Where are you doing? Where is your TV set? How are you set? doing? Where is your Netflix? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what a good girl. She's an absolute star. She She's really, really is. Ice cream. Well, oh. probably. Or maybe something else. Right, stick with us as we enter the rest of the Kento Papos Hall. Yes, Cassivia? It is a great restaurant because obviously when the summer is over you then come to eat inside and this is the inside just so you understand it's a great great restaurant look at that look at that it's beautiful truly is a great restaurant and a very very busy restaurant indeed that's for sure so during the summer season obviously people eat over there but when it gets down a little bit colder well they come inside and they eat in here and it's a great, great restaurant. It's the most famous restaurant in the whole of the Pathos area. And as you can see, well, it's absolutely packed. Look at that. Now, the next restaurant on the list is, well, it's the Gelamo. So that's the logo you're looking for. There it is. And there is... The what, sorry? The one and only. The one and only. There Emmanuel. he is. Emmanuel. There we are. The trainee manager. You're right. I can't say you haven't got a can of Coke in man. Go on, we'll, we'll punch. And there is Anita. There we go. You busy? Yes. yes. Pretty busy indeed. Pretty busy. There's the manager there with his back to us. There's the twins. We've got Mr. P and we've got Mr. M. And there's the number one. Keep that one. We'll be back. We'll be back in a bit. So if you want the greatest ice creams, you come and see that man. There he is. There's Mr. Marios, the greatest guy in the world. And his brother. Well, and look at another star. There he is. It's six pack. Mr. Sixpack, how are you doing? Are you You're right. Good. You're right. Good. And their restaurant is called Sail at the Castle. Have a look at that. Absolutely packed out. That is for sure. Look at it. And there's their logo. So one of the greatest restaurants on the Cato Pathos Promenade. You see After the 20th of July. After the Minalaya, after the Delhi starts cooling down, but yeah. July is the worst. Yeah, it's the worst. Everybody thinks that August is the worst. No, no July no, no, no. is the worst in no. humidity. No. August is high temperature, but not so much humidity. No. But July is the worst in humidity. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. Listen to Six Pack. He's lived here a long, 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 long time, and so have we. July is, well, hot, should we say, but not as 
well, it's hot, should we say. To us, perhaps that's what you're coming from, so you love it. Anyway, the next one and the final one is called Stevie's. And it's one of our favourite bars because of that man there. There he is, Mr. Henry. Ooh home. la 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 We're la la la. Home. You're right. <laughs> home, home there away from is. home. <laughs> the greatest guy. He's a superstar. And again, look at their restaurant. Absolutely packed out. Yeah, all of the restaurants. There's five of them, as you may have understood. Each one has got its own uniqueness, and each one has got its own charm. They're all equally as good. The prices are around about the same, and just so you understand, you are in a harbour area, so well, it's going to be a little bit more expensive than McDonald's, but to be honest, the service is good, and the food, it's pretty good. Now, into the tranquilness and the calmness of the downtown harbour area. Have a look at that. There's my boat, and there's some big boats, some small boats, some fishing boats, and a big super-duper fast boat, and Miss Ochingra, C.V. Alabooth, that's trying to walk the tightrope, although it's a bit wider than a tightrope. That's for sure. Anyway, a talent I didn't know that she had, that was for sure. Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris. So, let's go a bit further. Let's take you out to the rocks to the rear of the castle, which then will allow us to look out across the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. And there's just enough light in the sky. The sun has gone on its travels off to Australia, but there's still a little bit of goldenness in the sky, so we'll still get a very nice view. And on top of all of that, I'm sure Miss Oching Rasibi Alabu is going to find a dancing to Chopchka Rock and she's going to wiggle her rear end. Am I correct? You know, it's always nice. Anytime I come, I will always remember about this rock. And I'm going to write something on it, by the way. <laughs> if the so, people don't mind. It's going to be the eighth wonder of the world, as Simon Payne says. So we're going to put a little fence around it and we're going to have a plaque put on it because it is the dancing... Chuck Rock, and the Marika's only person it is, yeah, and the mind? only person who's actually allowed to dance on it is Marika, or to give her her stage name, Miss Ochin Grassivia Labouf. Anyway, how many times I I gave to it to be alive? I gave to it some sounds. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So stick with us. There's a few people about, but as is tradition, we'll barge them all out of the way, and we'll get on our rock because it's our rock. So remember that, Labouf. So stick with us and, and I will follow your rear end. It looks like a beautiful tail, yeah. You know? yeah, it does. It's because of that projector, by the way. There's a projector to shine light, and on top of that, there are some golden rays coming onto it just yeah. off the rear of the sun before it continues its, its final descent. And I think there is a turtle swimming. Quite possibly, yeah. Showing your head and then going down. Right, get on the rock, Receive you. I'll follow your rear end. I'm going to scare all these people. That's not our problem. Get on the rock, you see. <laughs> Off you go. I'll follow your rear end. Take the stage, you see you have a booth. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to scare this woman to death. <laughs> There is the dancing Chachotchka rock. Mount it, Grisivia. Here we go. You know, it's rocking even more and more at the moment. You have to come closer. Otherwise, you can't. Uh... Yeah, luckily for me, I didn't get embarrassed. The woman stood up and she's gone. Luckily. Otherwise, they would say, what is this silly monkey doing? Mr. and Mr. Payne, this song is for you. Oh. What are you doing, Mr. Yellowbooth? Let's see the rear end. There we go. There's the rear end. Look at that for rear end. What a view. Take it away, Grisivia. Chuck I'm doing Norris. My program. There so we go. I know that I will be asked, what about the rear end? So without you to ask, I did it. <laughs> there you go. She's fully trained, that's for sure. Let's share yeah. with you the beauty and the spectacality of the view because the view, even though it's going that little bit dark, is truly, truly beautiful and there's that golden glow off the sun. So wait for it, here it comes. Have a look at that. Wow, 
see the other book? Uh, I would like to tell you many, many thanks for watching us. And I would like also to tell you if any time you want to meet us or you accost us somehow, you met us, don't hesitate. Come any time, any second and minute and accost us. We're going to be only humbled by the situation. Uh, we wish you all the best. Uh, don't forget to make us happy. So therefore, you give us a big stimulation to go on and on. And we know that you will do it. Thank you for watching again and all the best to you. Many kisses from me and goodbye. All that's left for me to say is thanks for watching. And if you do like what you see, please hit the like, click subscribe. And of course, come back for a little bit more of our madness. I'm going to give you the view back to the Cato Paphos Harbour and beyond. And then I'm going to give you the view to the Blue Blue Sea. And then, of course, the view as the sun finally vanishes. Have a look at that. That's the Cato Paphos Harbour and the boats. And we're going back the promenades in the distance. The big hotels are out there. And we're coming round to the fully lit rear end of the fort. There is the rear end of Otting Grisivia Labouf running away. And as we come round, there is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And I must say, it looks absolutely fantastic tonight as we come round. And here comes the golden glows. These are the last golden glows in the sky as the sun finally goes on its final, final descent and vanishes to Australia. It's a really, really luxury view, and I, can, I mean it. I can assure you, if you've seen this by your own eyes, you would find it even more and more beautiful. So please come down, meet us, don't miss it. We love you. Thanks for watching.